With Jamie Warner, certified by WeatherAid as the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks seven years in a row. Well, if you got up early this morning, it was cold out there. Temperatures starting off in the uh, 30s in some areas. In fact, officially in Springfield, 38. Of course, that's out of the airport, away from town, but still 38 degrees. I think that may be the last time we get into the 30s this spring season. We've got a much warmer pattern on the way. We're transitioning in that direction right now. Take a look at the highs from today. Low 70s, very common across the region 72 in Springfield just a degree off that average high of 73. Uh, now with this warm up uh, we're also not only transitioning to warmer more humid conditions but in the process of getting there we're going to be going through a wetter phase of weather and there's a couple different ways that we're going to get there. We have this frontal boundary developing to our west and Thursday's rainmaker is coming out of western Nebraska. It moves across the area it generates some shower activity in the afternoon. It doesn't look like it's going to be terribly widespread or heavy but then another storm will come out of the southwest, move across Texas, interact with that same front, and move across our area Thursday night into Friday morning. That one will generate widespread rain and thunderstorm activity, and at least for parts of the area, southern Missouri and northern Arkansas, uh, heavy rainfall. I think at this stage of the game, though, the uh, uh, risk for any severe weather looks very, very, very limited, and that's good news. Our forecast tonight looks quiet. Uh, clouds will gradually increase by sunrise. Kind of a partly to mostly cloudy start to the day, but the clouds will thicken up. I think cloudy skies will get into early afternoon, and then by mid to late afternoon, showers are spilling across southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. That's just the first round. Take a look at the second round. That's the one that's going to have some real punch to it. Uh, rain and thunderstorms. In fact, we should see a fair amount of thunderstorm activity on the southern edge of this area of wet weather. And it's those thunderstorms which could be strong enough to possibly produce a bit of hail or maybe even some locally strong wind gusts. Uh, looks like, again, that limited threat would be primarily from, say, uh, maybe Knoll over toward Branson and south and in northwest Arkansas. As we work through the uh, overnight hours, you can see how that wave of thunderstorms spreads east. There could be some redevelopment through sunrise on Friday, and then that all shifts out of the area later in the morning. The afternoon hours look like they're going to stay rather cloudy across our eastern counties or generally east of Highway 65. And there could even be a little light shower activity to go with that. Areas to the southwest, southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas, will get into some sunshine and much warmer weather. Rainfall totals, pretty impressive, especially after a dry month of April. We need this. Uh, looks like areas south of Highway 60, one to two inches of rain common. Locally, more than two inches of rainfall. Uh, temperatures tomorrow warming into the low to mid 70s across the area with highs on Friday. A bit more of a range there. 87 in Fayetteville. Looks like mid 60s in Rolla and about 74 here in Springfield. And if you're wondering about the weekend, it looks like uh, short sleeves, shorts and flip flop weather as we work through Saturday and Sunday. Maybe some morning fog on Saturday, giving way to partly cloudy skies and isolated afternoon storm risks mainly off to the east. Highs in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, same story for Sunday. Uh, and it also will come with humidity. And as we look ahead to next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and probably even into the latter portion of next week, we're going to keep the steady flow of warm, humid air into the area. It also looks like a lot of the storminess will stay just northwest, north, and northeast of our area so that we don't have to contend with much of a severe weather threat. But there will likely be a chance for showers and thunderstorms on a daily basis, mainly in the afternoon and early evening. And look at those highs, 80s every day with lows in the 60s. Looking like summer to me. Definitely looks like June there. Yeah. I yeah. would say so. And uh, <laughs> the Springfield Cardinals having their own stormy, stormy uh, streak there.